Hey everybody, hope you're having a good Mother's Day and you got to spend some time with some family if you could. Tonight's video is going to feature some pups along with some older dogs. I'm hunting a blue tick for Mark Brady. He hasn't been hunted at all. So this video is just going to show his first few times out. Also my walker pup CC, she's coming into heat and she's acting kind of goofy. And then my cousin Luke had his old female named Country. And then after that, I actually have some big news to share with you guys regarding some new episodes of my Hounds of Spotlight series and just some of the upcoming videos I got planned in the next six weeks. And I'll get into that at the end of the video with more detail and fill you in on that. But in the meantime, hope you enjoy some good coon hunting. Here it is. <laughs> He'll be tracking here all night now. For sugar, is that her? Or is that that blue tip? I can't tell. Go ahead. All right, that was just a few of the hunts from this week, and I hope you enjoyed some of that. And now I'll get into some more detail about some of the big news coming up. Next Sunday's video is actually gonna be my full review of the new Dogtra Pathfinder 2. And in that video, I'll go over all the new features it has and show you guys what I like about it. So in that video, you'll get to see the new tracking collar that comes with it, along with the new GPS unit. It has some pretty nice features that weren't on the Pathfinder 1. So I'll go over all the similarities and differences in that video. And then I'll actually show you how it's used in the field. So that's what I'll be doing this week. And also this week, I'll be going hunting with Walker Legend Dick Brothers and that'll be another episode of my Hounds and Spotlight series so I'm gonna go hunting with Dick Brothers and his walker dogs and get his opinion on starting pups and go over some of his life accomplishments and just have a good time pleasure hunting so hope you're looking forward to that as well and speaking of my houndsman spotlight series that's another episode coming up and i also have a few more coming up i'm actually going to go with jr gray which is the guy that just won the tournament of champions and he's also won a world championship too i'm going to get with him he's a younger guy but i thought it'd be good to get with him and show you guys some of the people that are competing at the highest level right now so we're going to get together and do some pleasure hunting i'm going to talk to him about some of his experiences and how he does things with his dogs i believe we're going to take out conor mcgregor the dog that won the tournament of champions and some pups off of willie so it should be a good night, should make a pretty good video, and that's another episode of my Houndsman Spotlight series. And I actually have another episode of my Houndsman Spotlight series. I'm going to get with Chad McCoyne, who has the Black River Black and Tans, and I'm going to show you guys some Black and Tan Coon Hounds that are pretty good. So I'm going to try and hit all the breeds, get at least a few people from each breed to feature on this. I posted on Facebook and Instagram asking people for input who they wanted to see from the other breeds, and his name came up a lot with his Black River Black and Tans. So I'm going to get with him and do some pleasure hunting, and that'll be another episode for you guys as well. So if you like Black and Tans, 
I'm sure you'll like that video. And the last thing I'll share with you guys, I'm getting with Birchell Davis, the guy that owns Frogger. We're gonna get together and he's rounding up some of the pups out of Frogger. We're gonna do kind of a follow-up video to show you guys what he's reproducing. So this video will feature pups from Frogger and different females to show you guys the type of dogs he's reproducing. So if you like that episode of my Hansom Spotlight series and you're curious to see the pups out of Frogger, that'll be a good video for you as well. Hope you guys are pretty excited about that. I still have a lot of stuff coming up in these next few months. People keep reaching out to me with new ideas and new projects and I keep thinking of stuff to do. So I'll keep going around trying to get with every person I can from each breed that have been competing at a very high level and try and get with the legendary figures or people that are currently competing at the highest level to share that experience with you guys. And I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you are, please subscribe and like the video. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate your support and I thank you for watching.